Now, my dad wears overalls every day of his life, so it's not totally made up. But, you know, that was part of me trying to what make up What is the appeal of character. overalls, by the way? Just, you know what I mean? Like, all right, so your dad wears them. Why do you think he wears them? Well, you got a lot of pockets. You okay. know, you got different things. Like, Don't you, you lose shit, though? If you have that many, po but I guess you wear it every day. You yeah, I mean, my dad has, you have a front pocket right here. He yeah. used to keep his chewing tobacco and a small pistol in there. And I think now we're just- Literally a small pistol. Oh, yeah. Did he ever take it out? Not, not, he's never had to use it that I know about. Yeah. But, you know, it's in there. He's taken it out to show me that he has it in there, <laughs> you know? We were in a Waffle House and I was, and he, my dad kept saying something about this guy with a lot of tattoos in there. And uh, I was like, you, you know, you ought to chill out. That guy may have a gun. And he goes, me too, you know? And then he shows it to me. Great. Yeah. Does it make you more hungry or less hungry? I was pretty indifferent to it. You know, <laughs> I don't think I really thought anything about it. Uh, uh, you know. The Southern but. culture of guns, as someone who hasn't, didn't grow up there and has so little experience with guns, is just like a thing that you get used to. Yeah, I mean, it never, like, I, I don't even know if it's a thing you have to get used to. You just kind of grow up with it, and you don't even think about it. Like, I took hunter safety courses, you know. I'm a pretty good shot. But, you know, we did. We also learned to, like, not play with guns. Yeah. You know, like, my dad had a gun. He may still have it. He had, like, a, you know, the gun belt hung around his bedpost with a gun in it, like, my whole childhood. And we just knew. Plus the overall pistol. Oh, yeah. I mean, we just knew not to mess with it. It wasn't locked. He had some guns in a cabinet, but no safe, you know. That he is a have funny thing now, of like, but... why have, if you've got one on your bedpost and one in the, in the, in the front pocket, what are the, what are the shelf? Well, you don't sleep in the overalls, you know, so. You well, need... no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I got, I see that. I've yeah. accounted for that. That's why he's got it next to the bed. Yeah. What are the what are the, the the showcase guns for? You mean like in a cabinet? Yeah. You know, you'll have the rifles and shotguns for hunting. Okay. So you're not you're not really show well, I guess you are showing them off. You want, you know, you want other hunters that come over to know what you're working with. <laughs> I got a home video of my dad. I think this was my dad, like he got a video camera and was trying to uh in case he got the guns got stolen, but it's like him showing every gun, reading off the serial number, reading the brand. I mean, it's a whole video going through the whole thing. And is he proud or is it just like, this is informational? I, I think a little of both. <laughs> I mean, he's definitely proud. He's like, look at this thing. It's a, it's a funny, it's, I mean, I get it, but I, it also, the thing that no one ever, there was a Reddit thread the other day about killing a home intruder what it's like to kill a home intruder. It's a joke I've never been able to do was, so if someone breaks into my house, I have to shoot them. And then we just have to sit there and wait till the cops arrive for probably 10 minutes. And is it, does it become like a small talk situation? Like what, so what made you pick? You're just sitting there. And then there's, I mean, in the, in the Reddit, there, there was things about like little kids and it just seems like I just take my TV. I don't want to kill someone. Yeah. Take my TV. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's a wild thing. I mean, I, I, you know, my dad has never had to shoot anyone. Yeah. Uh, I've never shot anyone. I, you know, I've gone hunting, you know, I've killed small animals when I was younger, but I've never killed a deer. I went hunting a few years back. And as I was sitting there, I was thinking, if a deer actually came, could I shoot it at yeah. this point? And I don't know if I could. I like animals. I like nature. And I understand hunting. I like eating meat. Uh, but I just don't know that I could do it. Well, that happens in war a lot. Yeah. That there are guys that sign up, enlist, get drafted, go. And then I think World War II, they were just shooting in the air because they didn't want to kill people. Oh, yeah. Which is like, there's, a, there's also a statistic about in terms of uh, repeat murderers, someone, if you've killed someone once, there's a 1% chance you'll do it again. Wow. So 99% of people are like, did it? Don't, no thank you. And I get, I did it once and I don't think, I, that wasn't helpful for me, yeah. for my life overall. Yeah, I couldn't, I don't think I could live with it. I accidentally killed a groundhog in my backyard and uh, I still- With a gun? Uh, with a, well, with a trap. I was trying to get something else and it got the groundhog. 
what were you trying to get? Well, I was trying. I wasn't. I was trying to trap the groundhog and take it away and question it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just wanted to get rid of it. It was eating my garden. I wanted to get yep. it in the cage, and then it died in there. How and long was it in there for? I don't know. I feel bad about it. I was no. I, it is a weird. Even killing, even mouse traps, is a bit like. I don't love this process. No, I left and I, I accidentally left the cage set up, the trap set up, and it died in there. And I it's I still feel bad about it. Like I wanted it to stop eating my vegetables, but yeah, I didn't want simple... to kill it. No. And I you know, I tried to save a turtle the other day. It was a big snapping turtle, and I couldn't uh get it off the road because it kept trying to snap at me. So I was like, I'm gonna go. Can home. you go up behind it, or they they're pretty? Well, fast? they they got it. They're pretty fast. Yeah. So I was like, I'm and gonna the, go. They have those necks that like. Oh yeah. Dart. So I was like, I'm gonna go home and get a bucket, and I'm gonna get this thing out of the road. And by the time I got back, someone had ran over the turtle and killed it. Yeah, and now you have a relationship with the turtle. And I yeah, I'm like I I almost had you. Yeah, and you just go fuck. It's happening all the time. All around us. All the time, yeah. For millions of years. Animals eating, being eaten, eat just over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, there's an Instagram, nature is metal. Yeah, I'm, walk, I'm with I'm it. Just, I watch it, but I'm just I like, do too. Oh, man. But most of the time, it's like how it's pro-animal. Yeah. Nature is metal. It really is about how. A lot of it's just about like, can you believe how fast this cheetah is? Yes. The one, the cheetah in the savannah in Africa, the one that's like the football play where you can't believe how fast the it's like a trail and there's there's a people in the van or whatever and you can't believe how fast it is. Oh yeah. It's that's the metalist of all the metal. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.